Hello React Native Developers, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a very long time since I posted the video and this time I have came with the idea how we can make the tab bars beautiful. So I got this inspiration from the Facebook app where they show how many levels we are deep in the stack navigation and they show this on the top of the tab bar. So we are going to build the same in React Native and let's get started with the video now. We already have a base setup in place where we have a tab navigator and we have two screens inside it, home and settings and inside the home we have a stack navigator inside that we already have two screens. So now we will build a custom tab bar with for this tab navigator and let's do that. So inside the component I will create a file custom tab bar.js and I will copy the content for this from react navigation guidelines so I will just copy this and we will modify it based on our needs so first let's clear clear this we will make it const custom tab bar let's export this also and to remove these warnings i will import the react from react Yeah, so right now we have a custom tab bar which we just copied from react navigation. So let's just paste it here. So tab bar props custom tab bar import it and we will pass the props directly. So if you do this, you will see we have a minimal view of this tab bar because we don't have any styling in place there. So let's do that. const styles styles it dot create and padding bottom we will set it here styles.container and for padding bottom we will take the safe area insets use safe area insets and bottom so that we can avoid this area which we are getting in the iphone 14 pro so let's do that So see right now we can see our tab bar is visible but we also need to style this component this item so let's do that now also let's add the icon here so import icon from or i can just use options dot temper icon So this extra padding yeah so now we have the same tab bar which we had earlier without this custom tab bar and now we will build that functionality where we will add the bars over here so for doing that first we need to get the state of the navigation so i will open this for you and let's see what we have in the state console.log json.stringify navigation.get state so right now we have this state index 0 
if I open this then we have this index 1 index 2 index 3 so if we just want to see what is this so I will just use the JSON formatter and let's enter it here so if you see here what we have we have the root names we don't need it for now we can remove this history also so what we have we have the index 0 so index 0 means in the tabs we are on the first index so which is the home if we do settings then we will have index 1 which means we are on the settings and after that for index 0 we have this state and inside this state because in the roots we are on the 0 so this is 0 this is 1 and again in this we have the state where we also again have index so this index means how deep we are going we have already gone into the stack navigator so this is 3 so which means 0 1 2 3 we are at third level so if we are on third level we will use this value and this value to show the tab bar so let's do that first we will check if on which item we are on so first let me see let active item is equal to 0 and if navigation not get state so we will just copy the state from here navigation dot get state if state and state dot index then we will check for console.log state dot index for now we will just close this one okay we are getting some error okay we already have a state here so we have state so it is one right now if i go to this one then i will have again the zero we are not getting zero because if we are at zero there is no point of doing this so we will set the state to active item is equal to nav state dot index and if we have active item and nav state dot routes active item and nav state dot routes active item dot state so now we will get the deeper index of the stack navigator so what it will be dot index so let's say i am on this one Let's check if it is getting here or not here. Okay, we are getting this here. And now let's check if we have which of this is false. Okay, we have this one, we have this one. Okay, 
and we turn it the active item and if we do this we will get this okay three four five six okay active item was not calling because it was zero and when we just use active item as a boolean it if it is zero then it will be false so that is why it was not working so now let's set it let deep active index is equal to So now if we console log active item and deep active index we will get the exact location so 6 5 4 3 2 1 and we are at 0 so now we have the index so now we will style it here so let's do that first we will need a row so view style styles dot row and in the row we will just use the flex direction as row flex one okay and now what we will do is new array array length will be deep active index plus one dot fill with anything map i and now we will use the bar view style styles dot bar And we will add the bar here instead of it we will use the flex one height will be three border radius will be three on as well okay and if we do this and I will also add the background color to it one two nine for now so right now you can see we have this one but we only need to show if it is focused so is focused then only we will show this row and we will also add margin bottom so Okay, we can also set a gap here which is 4 and if we do this then you can see we are already getting the indexes how many levels we are deeper in this navigation if you want to further animate it we can just install the react native reanimated and add the animations to it so let's do that what we will do is to animate this we will call animated not view and layout transition will be sequenced and now you can see we have a cool animation here and you can go as much as deeper you want to go in this and this will be counted as same and if you just want to go to home screen then just press it also this is maintained inside this so let's say if I go to setting then there is one only and again I go to back here I will have five
that's all for this video if you have learned something new then please hit the like button and share it with your friends also if you are new to the channel then please hit the subscribe button if you have any queries you can write down in the comment section and i will try to solve them as soon as possible and see you in the next video till then bye bye